So for today, we're going to be talking about the seasonal challenges for week six. If you guys don't know, I usually do this uh, at the beginning of the week uh, for Destiny 2. So we'll be looking at the seasonal challenges. I'll tell you how, like, my tips and tricks to complete these. And we'll be looking at Eververse as well. So if you guys like these videos, like, comment, subscribe really does help. Because a huge portion of people that come to my channel are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor and subscribe, that'd be very much appreciated. But other than that, let's get into it. So for the first challenge we are looking at is Sorrow Bound 6. Uh, complete Bound in Sorrow 6 and complete Lost Sectors throughout the system. This one's not too hard. Just this, the Bound in Sorrow 6 is literally a story. If you've been following the story, then this is not going to be hard. Uh, and then the Lost Sectors, just complete any Lost Sector. This one's not too hard. You can kill a few Lost Sectors in like seconds. So again, this is not going to be too hard. Uh, Sparking Rage, complete Sever Rage using only an Arc subclass, an Arc kinetic or stasis weapons so it's funny because i think it was one of these had well there's two of them but just tldr because this is a, this is a lot if you're going to be completing the sparking rage uh the empty grief yeah empty grief and then the other one is called something void if i remember correctly make sure you're following all of the things to a t so obviously be using an arc subclass an arc kinetic or stasis weapons i would i would go with use an arc weapon uh for kinetic use a stasis or actually use a kinetic so for example i'll just show you guys real quick because uh i'd actually use huckleberry for this for arc for an arc weapon forbearance is fine and then for stasis i'd be using like Typhon, Typhon is a good choice or chain of command. Just make sure that you do not have the, uh, this one osmosis, make sure you have this one on for adrenaline junkie. So that way you don't switch to whatever subclass, even though it technically shouldn't matter, but this is a very finicky challenge in my opinion. So better safe than sorry. Uh, also if for some reason the scythe appears, do not pick it up because that actually does count. So again, just be aware of that. Uh, for Vestiges of Dread 2, throughout Season of the Haunted, co collect vesti Vestiges of Dread and pick up material nodes on the Derelict Leviathan. This one shouldn't be too hard if you're actually picking stuff up and playing within the game. Uh, just be aware that this, if you're not playing that much, this might be a little annoying, even though I'm not playing that much. I think I play only like twice a week now. So even I still got it, but I do put in like an absurd amount of hours when I actually do play this. So just be, just keep that in mind. Uh, for the next one, it's clean cut. Defeat combatants with glaive or sword final blows on the derelict Leviathan. Defeat powerful cabal in any sever activity. This one is not too hard. Uh, I already have the powerful cabal and I didn't do it that much. I think I I've done it twice already. So this one won't be too hard and Thankfully, the sword and the glaive, you can actually use both of them at the same time if you really want to. So again, this one won't be too hard. Uh, absolutely stunning stun champions. This one, uh, just honestly the best. This one is actually stun champions, not uh, kill champions. So if you want, you can just go to the Nightfall. I would go to the Legend one, so that way I don't have to deal with anyone coming in. And since it's the arms dealer, the, there should be two in the beginning yeah there should be two in the beginning and just stun them over and over and over which is literally what i would just be doing for that because uh i just i don't know i i i try to get the the fastest way and that would be the fastest because you just keep stunning the champion over and over uh obviously you can just do nightfalls that's probably going to be the better choice because you get drops from it but for me it's just more of a i just want to complete this and move on with my day uh, the next one is Apex Armor Masterwork, a piece of armor. This one is not hard in the sense that it's not that hard to actually get the material for it. I know some people are going to be like, well, I can't run GMs and whatnot. The great thing is you don't really have to. All you have to do is uh, complete the last level for like the Vanguard, for Crucible, for Gambit and other ones that actually have that. I, I know uh, Iron Banner has that as well within their system. You just have to complete, you basically just reset one once with them and you'll get uh, a material for it. If not, you can actually go to the Cryptarch and get one. 
depending on how many of the uh, what's it called how many of these the enhancement enhancement prisms you have but you could also just buy enhancement prisms and you i think you need 10 in total to buy one of the ascendant shards but again some of the shards aren't as crazy hard as they used to be considering there's many places you can get them so honestly just pick your pick your poison obviously you can do nightfalls nightfalls would probably be the best way um last but not least crucible ornament require acquire the crucible ornament for chain of command this one might be annoying for some people uh i played crucible pretty regularly i've already reset my my crucible already and i'm already almost there it's just more so i don't i don't i don't particularly like uh crucible this season uh for some reasons uh just to give you an example i don't like the in-air accuracy i think that's stupid uh some of the weapons i'm just kind of like not feeling it as well i see a lot of ostringers and i'm just like i this is menagerie all over again but I, i'm also using men, uh ostringers so i don't know why i'm saying that because i'm kind of a hypocrite at that point but yeah i'm just kind of not feeling crucible this season so that's why this one's going to be a while for me uh as for eververse she is actually selling this really cool shader iridient Ch chariot and as you guys can see i'm still wearing the shader or the the solar inspired armor because i actually am using this and you guys can see it gives off this really cool crystalline look it's really cool i would actually love to showcase this shader because i am thinking about making shader videos because there's a lot that goes into shaders and i would love to talk about it but it's really cool because we get this really magenta purple and then white crystal and then we get magenta on the cloth as well with white as well there's a lot to pack into that and i would love to see the off colors for this because uh these are not all the sh colors in the shader there's all uh, there's much more plus glows there's it, there's just so much that goes into shaders that i'm actually really interested to see what it has to offer the eris morn projection live disco dance which is yeah then we have the egregore shell which i could have sworn bungie said at one point that they weren't going to sell stuff that was inspired by the season which i know people are going to be like that's not inspired but it is it not is it not like look look at the helm and all the overgrown shit that it has but yeah whatever for the stuff at the bottom we have pegasus projection which i don't know why i'm looking at that dream of the sky which is pretty cool i'm actually very tempted to get this but i don't use this gun enough to warrant me getting it uh gigantis carrier which is looks terrible we have the unloved to be cherished ornament Ooh, this is a good ornament i am personally not the biggest fan of beloved's main look personally because the the crystals on the side of the barrel don't change color so this is the ornament that i actually put on my beloved and i love it so highly suggest that one battle worn shell i'm not the biggest fan of ghost shells in general this one however i actually would scoop up just because how cool it looks especially if you want to look make a like a battle hardened guardian even though good luck we don't have a lot of armor that's like damaged which is unfortunate uh, finger heart which i hate this and then first gig which is i'm actually tempted to get this but it's probably like three thousand it's four thousand yeah i'm not getting that that's 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 way too much uh time honored shader wow we've had this one come up a few times uh i don't even remember what i said for that for that shader in those videos but i mean it's fine it's, it's a very boring shader in my opinion so that's why i'm probably said the same thing with those other videos uh we have jungle viper which is terrible looking i'm not even a sugar coat it this is a terrible shader but i mean if you like it have at it we have first light which is i'm not the biggest fan of purple and green in any in any type shade way shape or form just because it reminds me of joker and it immediately just invalidates any sh any look i was trying to go for and then vibrant beach which eh. I'm not a bad, I'm not a fan of yellow and blue personally, but I mean, you do you. And other than that, it's pretty much it for Eververse this week. I'm happy she's not selling anything crazy that I want that I want because I do have to save some bright dust. But at the same time, I would love to see more pieces come out. 
Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, all the things are in the description below. Uh, I will be having more more Destiny 2 stuff, uh, mostly because I'm switching how my channel is working, which I still have to make that video. But uh, we will have a lot more fashion videos coming up. I still have to do the dungeon armor video because I still have not collected all of the armor because I just haven't ran it in a while. Uh, a lot of things planned for Destiny 2. So if you guys like the, com like the video, like, comment, subscribe again, and I will see you guys later.